Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your grand reveal in Coronado, California. In the interest of full disclosure, this was a five-day project, but we had a couple of days that we just didn't get that much accomplished and it seemed redundant to do a video. So I know this is the fourth one you've seen, but this is technically the fifth day. So now that we have that straightened out, we are so thrilled with the results. Come on and I will show you. Petalanthus bracteus with black lava, three quarter inch, top dressing. And this bed here, where Greg uh, pulled out the ugly lavender, we did with aloe cameronii and aloe blue elf packed in really, really tight. I think this is going to be really gorgeous, particularly when it blooms. Look at it, we cleaned up this lavender a little bit. Isn't it beautiful? So pretty. And top dressed again with the black three quarter inch. Here's our trio of, of new pots. I have an aloe arborescence and a Echeveria Sahara and a little uh, string of bananas. And then here's the little kumquat tree with three quarter inch Mojave red top dressing. Down here in the Roman bath, we have three eighth inch Mojave, Mojave gold. gold. And in the raised beds, we have three quarter inch black. We just did the black lava on either side flanking from stem to stern, from, from top to bottom. I packed in even more aeoniums. Good God, I swear they just never ended. Um, but I got all the aeoniums packed in throughout the garden. Uh, brought in some Baja red one to three inch rubble. You know, when you stage a big pot in your garden, make sure you anchor it with something at the base, whether it's plant material or rock material. You know, just like in the house, when you put a vase or an arrangement on the dining room table, you need an anchor under that too, a plate, a trivet, something. So this is my, this is my trivet, this ribbon of one to three inch Baja red. And for the piece de resistance, the, Secret Garden. This is my specialty and my favorite thing in the world is to create intimate little garden spaces. So I pulled in a truckload of small plants from Oasis Water Efficient Gardens. It's hard to see in the video, but there's a lot of ebb and flow and mounding going on in this space. I pulled this wonderful old Spanish pot full of jade from up on the patio and it just fills in this corner so beautifully. This is the client's old uh, ghost plant, uh, Graptopetal and Paraguayense, and I busted it out of the ugly terracotta pot and put it in a Talavera pot. Again, this is a Spanish home and we wanted a Spanish feel in the garden. Here's my bird bath, my bench and my little vase in the back. This was a challenging space because it is so shady and there's not a tremendous amount of air circulation back here. So I repurposed some um, crassulas that the client had and I added a lot of bromeliad and tradescantia, portolacaria. And we've even got a little talavera gecko going there up on the wall. remember you know we use the Mojave gold top dressing rock and that's all great and wonderful but your plants are going to be a little lost against just that pale top dressing so a trick is to take a darker rock and in this case since we are in Coronado and this is shady I pulled in black three-quarter inch and ribboned it through the design on either side to really make the plants in my tapestry pop
I really felt like this wall was very blank and bare too. So I purchased this sun at Planter Paradise in El Cajon and it just, it just does it. So here we have it. What a massive improvement. Oh, one more thing to show you. This Ibophila variegata. Isn't this fantastic? This is a collectible that I popped into this Talavera pot. Found this at Planter Paradise. Okay. Can you just imagine this bougainvillea in a couple of years when it gets its legs all trained and flowering all across the top of the fence? What a magnificent space this is going to be. The idea being, again, just a visual <gasps> breath take, but low maintenance, low water. The client's actually going to hand water this little garden. She's like me. She likes to do that. So it's another one in the books. Next week, we'll find us doing maintenance. We have five different gardens on each of the days, Monday through Friday next week. So look for some maintenance and uh, update videos. This has been Laura Eubanks with Team Design for Serenity reporting from Coronado with your grand reveal. And make sure to go to my website at Design for Serenity. I have a special bundle for the holidays so you can get your hat, your shirt, and a book at a discounted price. What about the uh, contest? Oh yes, and the contest. Uh, yesterday I, I said if you can guess how many Aeoniums I've reworked, that I pulled up and cut up and reset in this garden without going over, um, I will, if you pass closest, I will give you or mail you a hot mess hat. This contest will run for one week. Okay guys, this is, this is it. Have a wonderful evening. I'm going to go home and get some peace and quiet. We have a jackhammer in the front what sounds like a brush chipper to the right of me and then a new home built behind me. So my goodness, it's not very serene, but I'm hoping for the best next week for this client. Take care.